Welcome to part 32 of Persona 5 Royal. And if you thought we were done with painting mazes, <laughs> no. No, we are not. Although we haven't gotten the most annoying one, still we are going to be going through painting mazes. Now, a quick word of advice for everyone. You might want to prepare yourself, or more importantly, keep track of where you've gone. Because here's the thing. There is only going to be three paintings available right then and there. And more importantly, there are going to be enemies in the vicinity. So with that said, we are going to have to be careful. And by the way, when I say be careful, I mean be careful. Because what to do? we do one thing stupid. And uh, you're going to find out the hard way, actually. So right now, we can't do anything about going down there for now. But we can, however, jump into the painting. So, we just have to go forward. The next one, we can't go into the door just yet because that door, well, here's the thing. If we go through the gate, it'll go this way. But if we went straight ahead, it would have sent us back to the very first painting. We couldn't just go ahead just yet. We've got to do some things first. Well, first, we had to jump out of the painting. What? Oh, right. By the way, that's all to show you if I jumped ahead. Because, see, that upwards path actually leads to another painting. But what we needed to do... Okay, that was stupid. No, wait, no. That was past me actually showing off. And me jumping ahead before I actually got past me to that point. So, what we're going to have to do is jump out of the painting, press the button... And that'll activate one of the paintings. I was practically showing off what happened if you uh, went there and tried to jump ahead before we actually pushed the button. It would send you right back to the painting with the camels. Now some people may think that's annoying, but you gotta actually uh, think before you do things. Now... This next room where we're going to be going to. Yeah, we had to go back there in order for us to come back to the painting right by going through this door right here. Yeah, the middle section. Now, as I was saying, you can screw this up and actually have security come in. And the only way that happens is if you actually try to fight the squid. Don't. Whatever you do, just jump down. Because if you do, that happens. For real? And now we're going to have to defeat all the guards here before we actually uh, get back into the painting. Show me your true form. So they definitely have a high level guard and a low level guard for you to deal with. And the reason why they're all red is because at this point in time, your whole team total combined is not surpassing 20. As a matter of fact, all of them are barely surpassed, like, 18. So, with that said, it would be in your best interest to not get into any more fights. And I managed to take out the other one off screen because we've already gone through this. So where we need to go is back through the area and jump down. So, yeah. Do not, in any circumstances, agitate that squid. So, since we pushed the button, we're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning by simply jumping down and going around. I'm going to cut out the backtracking because that's pretty much what's happening. Because you can't go back into that painting. So now we're going to climb up this ledge right here. 
And now we can go into the room, and now we'll be going into this painting right here. And that should take care of the entirety of the painting maze. Yeah, I know it sounds annoying, but I did cut out backtracking too, so there was that. And also, off-screen grinding. Because, see, here's the thing. Let me reiterate, you have to get 100,000 yen in order for you to activate the Fortune Confidant rank. So... Fighting here is going to be key. Because right now, it's the most available thing and highest level thing that you could get to. Because mementos, once you get to a certain point, will cap. Until you beat another palace. I'll reveal your true form. That's why I'm taking out enemies. Because you are going to need, again, at least 100 grand. Let's... Baton pass to on. And all these guys, we're going to eventually be stronger then, and they'll show up in mementos. Let's finish the entirety of this group. And sorry if you heard that, that was a notification. So. With that said, we took care of business. And that will most likely take care of all the enemies. But these guys are starting to drop low money now because of Joker's overall level. So yeah, that's the downside of grinding. You will still have to go to Mementos, though. Oh god, I, I can't believe the Shadow hasn't spotted me yet. Slip right freaking past him with my controller, by the way. I mean, y'all saw this. I wasn't trying to, you know, teabag the guy. Or be arrogant. No. I inadvertently tried to uh, hit the uh, guy and I passed right by him with the... Oh, no, okay, that worked. That actually worked just fine. Perfectly, actually. The luck of me having technical abilities, or well, technical uh, hits, actually worked just fine. Ah, <sighs> seriously? Another spam notification? I really need to turn those off. Okay. Man, that was easy. But, we're not actually done here just yet. We're going to have to take this one uh, Hiranya here. And we're going to... Oh, that's actually a random item sometimes. And we're going to have to take out this one guy that's coming up right here. Now, I know, I know, I should actually skip all of this. But trust me, these encounters don't last too long. And I think that... I, I think uh, Inugami was supposed to be weak to win... Yeah, the one downside of not bringing Morgana to this. Let's let's get Ryuji up in here. Let's uh. Oh right, yeah, he's he's probably gonna join. Well, that was quick, I guess. I'll probably release him because I already have an Inugami that's actually at a higher level. So, with that said, we didn't get enough money. Okay. Yeah, I think we've peaked and capped, so I should stop grinding. Well, here anyway. Oh, and also the secretaries are running too. This is something that was not in the original game, because all of those were the security card type shadows. And the one secretary type shadow was the one that you followed in a... Oh, that, that's not good. Ooh! Critical right there! That was sweet! The fact that I managed to land a critical on a disaster shadow just works perfectly. Well, look on the bright side, at least everybody is getting a decent amount of level. Child's play. 
Too bad we have to grind things the old-fashioned way. And more importantly, all the junk we're collecting, we're selling that all to EY. Right off screen. Alright. Now we can go forward, I think, this way. No, that way leads to the painting. The one, the room behind us, I think. Wait, what are you doing past me? Go behind you. Oh, wait, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Because that room goes to plot. Because we have found the room with the, uh... Ouch. Somewhere. Just got bit by a mosquito. I was about to say, we found the room with the will seed in it. We just need to push the button, which is right up here. Come on, pass me. Thank you. That controller's a pain in the behind. So this is our second will seed. We just need to take the box that's in here. And we're going all the way back to... No, not that room, fool. Go back. Go back. Okay, now we're coming to this room right here. This should be our second will seed. The last will seed is further down the line. So, we got our green will seed. That will replenish some of our SP. And more importantly, increase it, well, increase it too. Uh... Morgana will also talk about the Will Seeds to Yusuke because it's the first time Yusuke's seen one. And now, we've got a maze ahead of us. Wait, is there a speaking point here? Oh, wait, no, there, there isn't. But goddamn, everything's surrounded with gold! Oh, yeah, and by the way, why did I make that jump cut? Real simple. I went back and started doing a little bit of grinding for money. Not for experience points, for money. So, the reason why I've stopped right here is real simple. The whole entirety of this uh, area has one theme going for it. Fake Sayori's. Now, before I proceed any further, I will pause right here and give you a quick picture of the Sayori. So I'll stop this here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the true Sayori. She has a ponytail looking down, red sweater, with cherry blossoms right behind her with a branch extending all the way to the back. That's the real Sayori right here. The reason why I point that out is because there's going to be a lot of fakes. Funny thing is, these fakes are more than likely going to be where you're going to get all your money from. Because they're going to have random enemies. Specifically the Tingu. So, once you basically kill off most of the enemies, you'll be getting yourself a lot of cash. Probably between the one and the two thousands. I mean, that's a lot of grinding to do. But at the exact same time... There are going to be... Walls where you can't really access because they're covered with some sort of drapery. Instead of... Made to look like a real wall instead of it actually being a wall. Remember that because that's going to come to a point... Where you will end up uh, running into a painting that has such a thing there. I don't think we need to go back there. It'll take us all the way back to the intro in case you're wondering. So, this one's easy. The first one's easy. You can obviously tell which one's real and which one's fake. But later on, you won't be able to. Because there's no way to control the camera. Hey. 
And here's the thing. People would say, it shouldn't be too difficult to tell. Well, here's the thing. Because of the fact that there's no way to zoom in the camera whatsoever, you can't really tell. The first one is obvious because the damn shirt is blue. But even with the details of the blue shirt and all that, you still can't get an up-close look on the Sayuri because of the fact that, again, the camera obscures everything, which is kind of messed up. And again... You would think that this would be the right painting, right? <laughs> no. No. Actually, the painting we need to go to is behind that wall. Oh, yeah, and for the record, all of those are fakes. You will keep running into enemies until you find the real one. Which, by the way, is again going to be how you're going to grind until you get enough... Oh, God, why do I keep using a gun against that? But as I was saying... <clears throat> you'll have to keep getting... Uh, keep getting either experience points or money in order for you to remotely get, like, $10,000. I mean, it's not hard to do. And I don't think that's the one. None of these are. Impossible. But I'm still, again, showing you this is the method you're going to be using to grind. But we're going to come to a point where we're not going to be able to tell the difference. Because some of them look very similar, even with the branch. But the branch has no uh the branch has no cherry blossoms and you can't really tell again because the camera is zoomed out i know i'm repeating things but you just can't really tell and the only reason you can tell is because of the painting that why, why am i doing this oh yeah i'm still grinding and we got ambushed of course we get ambushed. Why wouldn't we? Don't worry. This won't take long. I mean, this is the longest this has taken. With all the battles that we're doing. And we only got one left. And why are we missing? God damn. Why are we missing? Oh, good. Good. Yusuke actually learned something, and he's at level 18. All right. <laughs> Didn't even break a sweat. Uh, wait. No, you fool. That's not... Oh, wait, that is the right one, I think. Well. But there is something hidden behind that door. Oh, wait. There was a treasure chest behind the door. Oops. Oh, right, and... Here's another thing. We're going to run into a whole bunch of fakes, not just there, but all the way over here and all the way down here. That is a whole lot of fakes. In fact, past me actually should have revealed the door because uh, I think there was a shortcut through this. In the original, folks, that actually was supposed to be the uh, true painting, but it's not. Let's so, let's go on ahead and take care of business, and I'll show you where the real painting is. So yeah, they changed things up again. <clears throat> That's what I meant when I said that, uh... Let's go on ahead and get Yusuke. Ice, you fool. There we go. And one shot with the baton pass. Perfect. 
<sighs> all right, all right. Might as well cut to where we get to the real one. So on that note, that is exactly what we are going to do because we are going to be doing a lot of unnecessary grinding because we didn't think to look behind this painting. So I'll be right back. Oh, and in case you're wondering, when you try to use third eye on these paintings, they'll all turn blue. So the game will prevent you from using third eye to find the right one. This is where the real painting is. So, with that said, get the chest that's in there, and also get the painting too. So, with that said, this is the real thing, which will completely dismiss all those fakes. But yeah, I did a bunch of grinding off screen. And here's the thing, Yusuke knows the Sayori when he sees it. And while, yeah, Yusuke can discern the real or fake, problem of the matter is, you can't really see the difference. Because again, the camera obscures your vision. But we're almost at the end of this, so I think we need to go this way, I suppose? Yes! That is the right way. And we just need to take this right here. And this treasure chest here. Come on. And let's leave. And this will bring us all the way to the end. Yeah, we're at the end of the route here, folks. And Madarame is personally guarding his treasure. So on that note, I do believe we got a cutscene coming up. So let's do this. There it is. Doesn't it look a bit hazy? For the time being. Once we send the card and make Madarame aware it'll be stolen, it'll materialize like, Yoo-hoo! I wonder what form it will take. Who knows? That is something like a self-portrait. This... So, what now? Think it's safe to say we got a root set? Hmm. We know where the treasure is, but I'm not sure that we've necessarily secured the root. Huh? Why is that? You must be talking about the infrared lasers surrounding it. That, and the outer perimeter is swarming with guards. Forcing our way through will be difficult. So we'll need to find a way to steal it, too. <sighs> this is tougher than it was with Komoshida. We just have to make one final push. Let's check this floor. Our infiltration route is not finished, and rushing against the guards is suicide, so we'll have to be creative in order for us to deal with getting the treasure, which is within all of those uh, laser lines, a la Mission Impossible. So, we can't get that door, so we're gonna have to use the uh, grid, we have to use the security grid to try to uh, do some items. First and foremost, we can open the shutters, which will go to the other side of the room. We needed to come here anyway. And secondly, we can turn off the lights, which is the most important one. Turn off the lasers is not going to work. Because you need security clearance in order to do that. Don't even bother trying to get the security clearance. Because there's, there's no security clearance at all. So with that said, that's the most important one, turning off the lights. And since the lights is only on for a short period of time, it'll give Morgana enough time to do what needs to be done. 
Yes, Morgana. Oh, right, and by the way, we have to go into a boss battle. Let's go. Which will bring us into the battle with a couple of Inugamis. So, I do believe... Wins their weakness? Hold on. Let's see. Wait, no, it's not. Damn. Oh, wait, no, Bless is their weakness. And I don't have a Persona with Bless. This is my other self. I lend it. Okay, that's not working. Oh, no, Thunder is their weakness. Strike him down. Ooh, that was good. And now let's get a Persona with Thunder. Perfect. So now, let's finish him off with a uh, all-out attack. So that'll take care of all business here. And now we can go to the safe room because we could call it a part. And oh boy, Ryuji actually went to level 19. I know who I'm taking with me to Madarame's battle, that's for sure. So on that note, Let's stop right here because we're not done with the infiltration just yet, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one last thing to do before we're done infiltrating Madarame's palace. This is Harvey Man 985 I'll see you next time as we get the final will seed and we complete the infiltration. Peace out, take care, and see you in part 33.